Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sew a blind hem stitch using your sewing machine. Most machines are capable of doing the stitch and come with a special blind hem foot. This is a really simple but kind of magical stitch to sew and it's really great if you have a hem where you want a pretty invisible hem but you don't want to do it by hand. So it's a little more visible than doing a hand slip stitch and I do have a tutorial for that which I'll pop in here. Um, I sewed a blind hem stitch on this dress and from far away you really can't see any stitching but up close you can just see a little pin prick of thread. And on this back side, you can see this kind of straight and then zigzag stitch. So it's a pretty cool stitch, but there's a little bit of a trick to getting it right. I actually learned how to do this stitch when I took a sewing class in high school, and it's really been a great skill to have in my sewing arsenal. Let's get started. So to prepare my fabric for blind hem stitching, I've folded the fabric back twice and pressed it. And then I have my pins going with the points towards the bottom of the hem. And what we're going to do when we sew is you flip it over and we're going to sew from the wrong side. And having the pins going in, going so pointing out kind of, it would be the opposite of what I usually do as a right-handed person. When we flip it this way for stitching, I'm going to be able to easily take those pins out. So go ahead and get your hem all ready and then let's head over to the sewing machine. All right, I have my machine set to the blind hem stitch and on my machine that's number 19. Um, I'm using a Janome, but you should look at your machine manual to see the stitch that the stitch number and what kind of foot you need to use. So most machines will come with this special foot and it has a little guide here on the bottom. And you're going to run the folded edge of your fabric along that guide. And then the needle is going to stitch straight on the right side and then every once in a while do a little zigzag over to the left and catch the fabric. So it'll go straight, 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 and then zigzag, catch the fabric straight, straight, straight. So it's really kind of magical how it works out. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Okay, so as I mentioned before, instead of having our fabric flat, like we usually stitch a hem, we're going to have it wrong side up and then fold this under and the straight stitches are going to be on this hem part and then when it zigzags over it's going to catch the dress part or the pant part whatever you're sewing so let me just slide it under here so it's that folded edge of my skirt that is against that black bar and you might need to adjust how much you kind of unfold it from here. If it's too close, you might not have enough of your hem exposed to get those straight stitches. So you might have to adjust that and you might even want to test out this stitch on a scrap of fabric. So I'm just going to hold my thread so it doesn't go down. All right, it's already getting started. So as you approach the pins, you'll just want to remove those. And as you go along, you'll just keep, keep it folded the same way. So I know it feels a little bit like you're doing it backwards, but it's pretty cool how it works. So just keep stitching around until you get back to the beginning. And here's what your stitching will look like. Those straight stitches are on the hem part and then the little zigzag goes into the body of the garment. And you'll want to press this after you stitch it because it's a little bit folded. But from the right side, you can see you just get little tiny stitches. So it's not totally blind, but almost blind. So it's a really good option if you don't want to have a visible top stitching and don't feel like hand stitching your hem. 
Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or requests for special videos. And if you want to support the channel and this free content, I have links down below to buy me a copy or visit the pattern shop. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the subscribe and like buttons down below. Happy sewing!